Haunted Richmond II is a compelling exploration of the supernatural folklore and ghostly legends that enshroud Richmond, Virginia. Written by Pamela K. Kinney, the book delves into the darker and more mysterious aspects of the city's history. While primarily a work of non-fiction, Kinney's adept storytelling and meticulous research infuse life into the ghostly tales that haunt Richmond's past, inviting readers to embark on a chilling journey through time and space. Kinney begins her narrative with a succinct overview of the historical and cultural background of Richmond, setting the stage for the haunted tales that follow. She emphasizes the city's rich history, spanning from its pivotal role in the American Revolution to the Civil War and beyond. This historical foundation provides a vital context for understanding the enduring presence of ghosts and spirits in Richmond. Kinney artfully establishes the idea that the city's history and hauntings are intrinsically linked, creating a sense of continuity and resonance throughout the book. One of the strengths of Haunted Richmond too lies in its meticulous research. Kinney has delved deep into historical records, newspapers, and personal accounts to unearth the stories of Richmond's most famous ghosts. She skillfully integrates these narratives with her own experiences and encounters, blurring the line between history and personal testimony. This approach lends authenticity and credibility to the ghostly tales, making them all the more chilling to readers. The book is divided into several thematic sections, each dedicated to a specific haunted location or type of ghostly phenomenon. This organizational structure helps readers navigate the rich tapestry of Richmond's hauntings while allowing Kinney to delve into the nuances of each story. Whether it's the spectral presence of Edgar Allan Poe in his former residence or the ghostly apparitions that linger in the city's historic cemeteries, Kinney's storytelling is vivid and evocative. She masterfully captures the eerie atmosphere of these sites, invoking a sense of unease and curiosity in her readers. Kinney's writing style is both engaging and accessible. She balances historical facts with storytelling flair, making the book equally appealing to history enthusiasts and fans of the supernatural. Her prose is descriptive, allowing readers to visualize the haunted locations and the spectral entities that inhabit them. Through her words, Richmond itself becomes a character, a city with a complex and haunted personality. Furthermore, Kinney displays a keen understanding of the psychology of fear. She explores the psychological and emotional aspects of encountering ghosts and the various reactions people have when faced with the unknown. This adds depth to the book, prompting readers to contemplate their own beliefs and reactions in the face of the supernatural. Kinney's empathetic approach humanizes both the living and the dead, fostering a sense of connection between the reader and the ghostly subjects of her narratives. In addition to recounting individual ghost stories, Kinney also delves into the broader themes of spirituality, folklore, and the enduring power of myth. She highlights how these tales have evolved over time, shaping Richmond's identity and contributing to its unique cultural heritage. By connecting the past to the present, Kinney underscores the timeless fascination with the unknown and the enduring allure of ghost stories. Despite the book's title, Haunted Richmond too doesn't require prior knowledge of its predecessor. Kinney adeptly introduces readers to the world of Richmond's hauntings, making it accessible to newcomers while offering fresh insights for those familiar with the subject matter. Each chapter is a self-contained exploration of a specific aspect of Richmond's supernatural lore, making it easy for readers to dip in and out of the book as they please. In conclusion, Haunted Richmond II by Pamela K. Kinney is a captivating journey into the heart of Richmond's haunted history. Kinney's meticulous research, evocative storytelling, an empathetic approach to her subject matter make this book a must-read for anyone interested in the intersection of history and the supernatural. 
Through her words, she brings the ghosts of Richmond to life, ensuring that their stories continue to haunt the city streets and its readers' imaginations long after the final page is turned.